sorry, sorry, sorry. actually knocked down somewhere. I mean I was obviously distracted by it on my phone and uh, I mean that could have actually turned out very very bad. Uh, but it's a rather sad note or unfortunate note to introduce you to today's edition of the Auto Showroom but I think it, uh, it uh, brings into focus the need for us to learn about defensive driving. So today that will be our focus for the episode. We'll be speaking to a very special man, Chris Kusi, to uh, more or less teach us about the do's and don'ts of defensive driving. The things you need to do to ensure that even as you drive, you are aware of the things happening around you. So you don't knock someone down, you don't run into something or someone. My name is Bobby Ose. Before we get into the big conversation, let's bring our auto trivia for the day. The question we're asking is in what year did Ghana move its flow of traffic from left hand drive to right hand drive? You're watching the auto showroom. We'll be back with more. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Hello, welcome back to the auto showroom. Today, our topic for discussion is uh, defensive driving. Now, on our roads, we have a, a lot of instances where you're not doing anything wrong, but the actions of uh, another driver or a pedestrian uh, could lead to some accident that would put your life or uh, the life of another person or you know persons in uh, danger. So, I uh, have here with me uh, Chris Kusi, uh, um, CEO of uh, Auto Detailing. Auto Jeweling. Auto Jeweling, yes, yeah, Auto right. Jeweling, yes. Uh, remember that, Auto Jeweling, CEO of that company is Chris uh, Kusi. And he's uh, just going to educate us. Um, the, we drive, you know, through town, through uh, uh, different cities, and uh, it is important that we understand what defensive driving is all about. So, uh, welcome to the Austin Showroom, Chris. Thanks, thanks for having we, me. We, I'm, I'm, we know you're very busy, but you're <laughs> taking time out. I love uh, the Porsche uh, car you're driving. I, 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 I like CTFM, you know, I'm always ready to, 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 um, to be on, on, on your set all okay. the time. Thank you so much, thank you. So now we're on the road today. And um, what, what I want to get your take on uh, the Ghanaian driver, your assessment. Uh, both public and you know private drivers, especially the trotro drivers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> These days, the trotro drivers are getting really a really hard time. But uh, I must say, the trotro drivers are not that bad these days. I mean, okay. the Uber drivers, yeah, I, I think they have the title now. They, 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 <laughs> they're, they're the ones who uh, are, are creating a lot of problems. And of course, because uh, in my industry, we yeah. tend to have to to work on. Uh, cars with collision damage and mm. uh, we get a lot of problems with with um, less experienced drivers i.e. Uber drivers mm. so I mean yes you see the thing is in Ghana uh, a lot of the road users and when I say road users I mean drivers bikers and even pedestrians mm. they don't uh, have a good understanding of um, the uh, highway code yes uh, so you have pedestrians crossing the roads where they shouldn't, they shouldn't be crossing be. Yeah. the road. You have bikers uh, not yielding at the stop sign or not jumping the red lights. Mm, mm. Uh, and then you also have you know other you know uh, vehicular uh, car users yeah. who would um, also uh, 
not drive properly, properly. you know so the trucker driver is trying to do a quick stop and pick up uh, a passenger people are overtaking uh, where they're exactly, not supposed the to taxi driver is driving unusually slow because he's also scanning the road to see if he can get a passenger, a passenger yes and then you have kids playing football who might kick a ball across the road and somebody will run after the ball to go and pick up the ball. I actually experienced one today, one kid on this side, one kid on the other side and they just, you know. Yeah, so you've got to be super, super careful. Mm, you know, mm, um, uh, your, your general assessment is that, okay, we, we have more more room for improvement. Uh, well, yes, we need to be more attentive, mm. more attentive because, uh, Yes, we do have a highway code, and for those who even abide by the highway code, you get to uh, a zebra crossing, for instance, mm -hmm. and you expect the pedestrian to cross at a zebra crossing, but no, they don't still cross, they decide to cross somewhere else. Well. So you have to think in, a, in, in advance, you have to, uh, what they call defensive driving, you have mm -hmm. to be very careful how you drive, you have to think ahead, and you have to anticipate uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly, because anything would happen. Okay, I mean, so before we can get into defensive driving, so what you're saying is that the ability to turn on the ignition, you know, uh, accelerate and move from point A to point B is not enough. Doesn't no, make you a driver. Able to, to, to drive, to move, to operate a vehicle yeah. is not enough. You have mm -hmm. to be careful because, you know, if anything bad happens on the road, mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a big problem. I know a few people who've had. Um, Accidents and uh, you know it's it scarred them uh, emotionally. Mm, you know, mm, uh, mm. So it, it's not about who is right and who is wrong on mm. the road. It's about preventing mm. uh, unnecessary accidents and unnecessary uh, incidents on, on the road. Mm, now, now in, in this day and age, you have some very powerful cars, and some people feel like even if their driving skills or their uh, ability to be aware on the road is not that up to scratch as far as i'm driving a good car hey i should be fine i mean does the car itself i mean yes you see modern cars have better brakes yeah they have better acceleration capability better performance generally mm. and there are also driver aids on newer cars that would also help you be a better drive driver yeah would also help prevent it an accident but uh, you should always put it in your mind that anything can still go wrong and yeah. these electronic aids can fail um, failure hardware failure in, in cars is, is is nothing new it happens all the time so don't assume that because you have uh, a good enough car you're you're going to be safe on the road no, no. And a, a Tesla, a Tesla still driving, for example. <laughs> they go wrong. They're, they're driven by computers. They're yeah. software driven. And uh, as you know, if your computer has ever crashed or your phone has ever yeah. crashed before, you know that software isn't, you know, that reliable. Yeah. I mean, they're great, but they're not that reliable. They don't feel so, um, yeah. So, ultimately, the driver is responsible. Okay. The driver is the one that can prevent, you know accidents mm, 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 mm. Now, so now let's now get into our main topic defensive driving when they say defensive driving i mean if i were to explain it to a four-year-old how, how, how would i go about it um it's, it's about driving in such a way that you avoid harm to yourself mm. so it's almost like defending yourself from potential problems okay 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 but um, what, what are the the, the tenets of defensive driving I mean is it is it uh, what is it about awareness what exactly it is mostly about awareness looking out for potential problems and anticipating uh, potential problems on the road so uh, being able to anticipate the actions of other road users mm, 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 mm. one can say okay so hey I mean um, it's, it's I'm in my car I'm responsible for myself the next driver also has to assume a certain level of responsibility so why should i carry on this burden by trying to assume what the next person would do <laughs> that's all i see what you mean but yeah. you know you see some people care more about their cars and about themselves more than other people yeah. do do you understand yes so for instance if you're going to spend you know two hundred thousand dollars buying a really nice car mm -hmm you are more aware of yourself when you 
driving around in that car I mean even if you went to park your car at a mall you be careful where you park it but the other person who's driving his little chanchama car that he doesn't really care much about you know another scratch another dent on the car doesn't mean anything he already has a thousand scratches on the car already anyway yeah so uh, you have to be you have to take responsibility and also even if you don't care much about your vehicle you have to care about the damage caused to other vehicles other road users and and and, and uh, i mean basically property to to uh, um, of other people mm, 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 mm. wow now for you what are the do's the key do's of defensive driving for someone who doesn't know anything about defensive driving what are the do's but we will get to the don'ts later i would say keep your eyes peeled you know observation is very important very very important okay. you have to be able to read ahead don't just look at what is directly in front of you okay. look further out into the road so we're, we're about to hit uh, do a, a turn a left turn right so i should be, be able to anticipate somebody coming on the other side okay. who may not be paying enough attention mm. there could be somebody trying to overtake in the curve Does which it, uh, could be a problem just tricycle just joined the road yeah. and i'm sure he didn't pay enough attention to look left or right yeah. you know there's a dip in the road here as we're going in here mm -hmm. this could also be uh, a potential uh, hazard point if we're driving too fast mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you always have to anticipate all of these things the roads are not perfect yeah. if it had rained i'd have to cut my speed down by almost half and, uh, and then there's another one do the u-turn right in front of us there you go and if it's rain and the roads are flooded you will not see the potholes because you'll be covered by the rain so you should anticipate all of those things so keep your eyes peeled keep your eyes peeled and also do study your um, your environment well mm. so if there's a particular road that you ply regularly you should be aware where the hot spots are mm. you know so it's very important that you you pay attention to all those things read stop signs mm. i mean road signs sorry i mean yeah. road signs so take your stop signs seriously look out for speed rumps so there are signs that notify you where the speed rumps is if you're approaching a junction and you know you want to turn left make sure in the right on the right side of the road position yourself properly mm. so that you don't have to cut across other people and and be another uh, hazard to others no we are just the, it says green do you do you just drive through or do you need to watch out for persons from you know yes you have to keep your eyes peeled like i was saying so I guess this is green i can just you know go through yes but anything can happen somebody may not have seen the green sign okay. or a kid may decide to cross the road yeah. a goat could cross the road anything can happen okay because because a lot of the times when we get to some of the major intersections uh, in the city mm -hmm. people you, tend to accelerate and go through that yes, green light yes and that's where problems come because you once you start accelerating you are you are compromising your ability to to stop if if in case there is a problem mm. so you need to be more aware of you know what could pot potentially go wrong mm -hmm. if you're making if you're accelerating you're making progress be prepared to decelerate be prepared to stop now for a lot of people in a crowd what well, you see what we call bumper to bumper right they are so talking cool. about uh in traffic oh no in slow in, moving traffic yeah no not even traffic but like a normal uh, um, even if it's slow moving traffic i mean what right. kind of distance like on this on this highway for example uh, what kind of distance should you uh, allow between you and the next car okay it depends on the visibility mm -hmm the condition of the road the weather as well yeah. so and also the speed at which you're moving mm. so now we're doing about um, 60 kilometers per hour it's enough to leave about four or five car lanes between ourselves and the car ahead of us if it had rain we'd have to double that 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 um, distance between ourselves and the car ahead okay and uh, if it was dark and there were no street light and your visibility is, is impaired again you would double the distance between yourself and the car ahead just to be safe now let's talk of slow moving traffic now we're in traffic it's about to uh, the light are green what kind of distance should you you know leave you should always be able to see the red tires of the car ahead of you oh that, making contact with the ground yes so not not that okay 
So as long as you're too close and you can't see the rear tires? It means you're too close. Mm, mm, mm. You should be able to at least see the rear tires of the vehicle. Okay, okay. Then you know you've left a safe enough distance between the car ahead of you and yourself. I mean, any other any other things you need to do? Yes. So use your um, your driver aids, your indicators, yeah. your horn, your lights. Uh, people tend to think that um, you only use your lights at night. No, you also use your lights to signal to and not see you. Yeah. If the person had tinted windows or there was an anti glare coating on the person's windscreen, yeah. they they won't see you. Mm. So it's always good to flash your light, use your indicators, sometimes honk if, if, need, if you're going around the corner and it's a blind spot, there's a, it's likely that an oncoming vehicle could be coming around the corner, you'd honk. Okay. So at least be, and be aware of your position on the your, road. Your position. Okay, 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 okay. So now we, I think we've done a little bit of do's and mix with don'ts, but if we things that drivers should not do, or at all, at all, as they try to be better defensive drivers. And speed. Speed is a big, big, big problem. Speed is great, you know. Yeah. Pedal to the floor, as some say. Yes, everybody <laughs> likes spirited driving. But yeah. you see, the faster you go, mm. the um, the more you're compromising your, your ability to make... Um, spare of the moment decisions mm. so if you have to stop you your stopping distance is compromised okay so I would say cut down on the speed mm. you know if you want to be safe you want to drive reliably and safely reduce the speed because too much speed is a, is a bad thing mm, 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 mm. I mean for a, a lot of times you're driving and you find people on the, the distraction within the car itself they're either talking to people they're either on your phones watching a video yes yeah, so what, what about nah, of course I mean it goes without saying it's a big no-no you shouldn't be distracted you know, you shouldn't be watching a video, you shouldn't be playing with your phone, you shouldn't be sending a text message. All of those things are a big no-no. I mean, it, 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 it goes without saying. It's it, 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 it pretty much the, the norm is people are busy rushing to the office. Yeah, they shouldn't be doing that. Even sometimes when you have children in the car, yeah. you know, paying attention to your children in the back of the car is also a big distraction because, mm. you know, you could turn your, your head and within a split second, something happens, something goes wrong. So you've got to be very careful when it comes to, um, uh, you know, getting distracted, getting distracted on the road. Yes. So on on, on the the don't you've spoken of uh, speed. You've mm -hmm. spoken of uh, avoiding being distracted. Any other any other key one you feel that people should? Um. Yes. I mean, you have to also regulations. Mm. You know, don't be switching lanes unnecessarily. Stop at the stop sign if you have to. And uh, I'm basically, the usual things that you learn in, in driving school. When you get to a pedestrian crosser, don't assume that there's no one there. Always try and slow down. Yeah. And make sure you look to your left, to your right. If it's clear, then you move. Nice, 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 nice. I mean, is there is there any um, regime that needs to be put in place by the authorities? to ensure that, because reckless driving is taking a lot of lives, you know, of people. Yes, I, I think people just need to learn to drive properly. And I think there should be uh, more punitive measures for, for, uh, for, for bad driving. So, you know, there's too many people out there getting away with, with, with bad driving. Mm, 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 mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I mean, we park in the wrong places. Somebody can decide to stop in the middle of a runabout. You know that's dangerous. You don't stop in at, at an intersection. You don't stop at a roundabout. Uh, the very, very dangerous thing. And the, the people who are doing that don't even know that it's wrong for them to be doing that. So I their mean, awareness um, is a big problem. More education also needed. Right? Yes, I mean, look at bus stops. You see, trot drivers. They don't fully park inside the bus stop. Right in the, in the lane. Yeah, they have one wheel on the main road, another wheel in the bus stop. So they're half and half out. It's, it's, it's dangerous. Yes, it's dangerous. Now, you spoke of parking. Um, so, you go into some parking lots and someone might just move out without watching if there's any 
anybody behind them, any car coming out. I mean, any any key, um, should I say, lessons or advice that people should take. I mean, how, if you're parked and you're moving out, like anything you need to do? Yes, I mean, you, you need to always look around you, you know. A uh, defensive driver doesn't start only on the public road, you know, from the parking lot, from when you sit in your car you position yourself, how you make yourself comfortable, check your mirrors, it all starts from there. So moving out of a parking spot is also important. You have to look around and make sure that there are, uh, that there are no other you know, uh, pedestrians yeah. walking around, other cars and, uh, and people trying to get into parking spaces. Usually when you're in a tight uh, parking area, everybody's in a hurry to try and get into uh, a parking spot mm. so you know people become impatient and you, you find that they will tell you uh, this uh, stats show that there are a lot of bumps happening you know when people are reversing in, 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 in parking spaces you know you go to malls and things like that yes because people assume that a parking space is a safe place it's yeah. actually not a lot of accidents do happen in parking spaces because you could be parked properly the car next to you would move out of the parking spot another car would come and park there and would not park in the same in the, in the, in the same space yeah. there might be compromises between the spaces between yourself and the cars next to you you drive out and you assume oh that car was only two feet away but it's now one foot away yeah. Yeah. and that could be a problem great 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 now um any any final words from your end when it comes to defensive uh, driving Yes, do do read your highway code. Go back. I know you. Everybody thinks that they're a good driver. Go back, read your highway code, and try and understand the highway code. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody is. But you that. should. You'll be surprised what difference it makes. You know, a lot of people don't even know. If you ask them today, they may have passed their test about 10, 15 years ago. Ask them what it means when there's a broken line on the road. They couldn't tell you. When there's a broken line next to an unbroken line, they don't know what the, what it means. They don't yeah. know what the difference yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Go back, refresh yourself, read your highway code, and you find out that you will learn quite a lot. From quite it. a lot. You'd be surprised. Yes. Of you would you be want. surprised. Yes, absolutely. You would. Interesting. Interesting. Well, uh, thanks so very much, Chris. Uh, uh, beautiful uh, conversation there on uh, defensive driving. Some key do's and don'ts that you need to remember. You're watching the auto showroom and uh, uh, yeah it's been a pleasure uh, once again Chris uh, thank you so very much CEO of Auto Jewelling Jewelling yeah Auto right. Jewelling everything every, <laughs> every, everything when it comes to uh, I mean just walk me through if in terms of the, the, the key services uh, well we specialize in vehicle restorations mm. so we do restorations of classic vehicles we also do uh, restorations of modern vehicles and also collision damage repairs so an old Rolls Royce you know can be made uh, beautiful again absolutely absolutely absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's been a pleasure thank you so very much thank you thank you for right, yeah, there you have it we're going to go for a quick break we'll return with more You're still watching the Auto Showroom. Time now for us to bring you our auto tip for the day. And uh, the tip is that avoid using your hazard at an intersection. Because if you do that, you would uh, confuse other drivers. Drivers coming from the left side of your view might think you are heading in their direction. While other drivers coming from the other side might also feel like you are heading in their direction. And you do not want to cause any confusion for drivers on the road because confusion on the road can lead to accidents. So that's our auto tip for today. We'll be back with more. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. 
City TV can be accessed on a free-to-air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. It's been an exciting episode of the Auto Showroom. The topic for discussion today is or was defensive driving. You're not just driving for yourself when you're on the road. You should make room for the mistakes of others. Because even though you could be driving well, someone could make a mistake, a pedestrian or another driver, which could put your life or the lives of other persons in danger. So be aware. Make sure you leave a nice gap between yourself and the next driver when uh, traffic is flowing about uh, two seconds or so and also uh, avoid distractions in the car don't use your phone don't be talking to people these are all things you need to do to ensure that you are a good defensive driver now before we wrap up the show though let's bring you the answer to our auto trivia for the day and the question we asked was that when well which year did ghana change uh, its traffic flow from uh, left-handed to right Handed. And the question is, uh, drum roll, 1974. So 1974, uh, the flow of traffic in Ghana was changed from left hand drive to right hand. And uh, that's our answer for our auto trivia for the day. It's been a pleasure coming your way. We'll be back with more next week. Do stay with us on the Auto Showroom.